So of all those different places, one might ask, why did I choose the guy on a shield? And the, perhaps the biggest reason is the sheer age of the guy on a shield. There, it has been shaped by different geologic events since the Precambrian. Essentially two billion years of change, of, of landscape change, of weathering, erosion, rivers diverting, has caused a, an unbelievably complex topography. I mean, we know that in Guyana alone, we've got rainforests, we have savanna, we've got tapuis, we've got mountains, and that's just Guyana. The Guyana Shield as a whole, you have even more of this. And all of these factors have contributed to the incredibly high levels of biodiversity that we have today. I mean, the species in particular, they don't recognize any political boundaries of different countries. So historically, they've been able to move to and fro as long as their habitats that are suitable for them have been able to persist. And in addition to this, um, the Guyana Shield worldwide has the largest expanse of intact tropical rainforest of anywhere in the world. And that remoteness and the, the fact of how much of it has been untouched has allowed these organisms to persist as they have historically and then subsequently diversify. So this map here is the Guyana Shield. I'm sure all of you are familiar with what the Guyana Shield is, but what I'm aiming to show with this slide is the topographic complexity that I mentioned before. All of these regions here that are orange and dark brown in Venezuela leading into Colombia and then here in Guyana and Suriname, French Guiana, and northern Brazil, these are all the elevated regions. So you have these random pockets of mountains that are surrounded by either lowland tropical rainforest or savanna. It's an incredibly unique area topographically, and as a result, it's an incredibly unique area evolutionarily.